Atar Focus, Saudi Arabia's public prosecutor says that the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi is a premeditated crime. This has been reported by the Kingdom State-run news agency. This comes after Gina Haspel, the director of the CIA, reportedly listened to the audio recording of the journalist being interrogated and killed. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had claimed yesterday that Khashoggi's killers would be brought to justice. Earlier on Wednesday, Donald Trump had pointed fingers at the Crown Prince, saying if anyone in the kingdom's power structure had known about the plot, it would be the Crown Prince. Now we are on World is One's correspondent, Karthike Sharma. He's the political editor. He's in Istanbul following the developments in the Jamal Khashoggi murder case. He caught up with a Turkish journalist who shed more light on why Turkey is not letting its eye off the case. I'm standing in front of the Saudi Council. Journalist Khashoggi's killing has not only altered relationship in West Asia, but it's a story which is refusing to die down. And most important of all, the most important aspect of the investigation have not been publicly also shared by the government in Turkey on this issue. I'm joined by Salim Atale, a senior journalist in Istanbul. Hello. Sir, thank you for making time for Beyond. It's also because of the fact that uh, there's a, a transition uh, which is uh, taking place in Saudi Arabia and now power is being uh, shared by the king and the crown prince. Is that the reason? Uh, President Erdogan said he trusts the king that he didn't have any pre-knowledge about this crime. He, and, uh, he, and he gave his respects to the king and there's no dispute about the king's uh, position, his authority. But then we know that who, things in Saudi Arabia is run by the crown prince. The king is very old and uh, obviously he's surrounded by a pink cloud that uh, prevents him to learn what was going on. And uh, the day in and day out and other policy matters are being handled by single-handedly by pr Prince MBS. So is it also, is it also about uh, the leadership of the Islamic world? You know, twice Erdogan said the uh, uh, I spoke to the king, the custodian of the two most uh, holy uh, places uh, of Islam. But uh, 100 years back, it was the Ottomans who were the custodians of uh, Mecca and Medina. So it just strikes you that, uh, you know, it's between Turkey and Saudi Arabia. And for 400, 500 years, uh, Turkey was the custodian of those two shrines. And actually, President Erdogan hinted that he doesn't have any problem. Turkey doesn't have any problem with a legitimate Saudi king to hold that title. There's no dispute, okay? Saudi king is, has uh, just, uh, they, they started doing this in 1980s. The Saudi kings just remember this Ottoman title and they started using it, which is fine with Turkey. Uh, it's beyond that. It's beyond uh, the, the, the titles. Now we are looking at uh, a crown prince who have uh, single-handedly tried to play geopolitics and uh, change the political scene in the Middle East and done quite uh, agile things that uh, really didn't fit well with the status quo. What I mean is what's happening in Yemen. It's a total MBS production. Uh, what's happening, what happened with uh, David, Prime Minister of Lebanon kidnapped by the same uh, Crown Prince and uh, it's lucky that he stayed alive. But the fact of the matter is, I, I think that's a very pertinent p point that the Crown Prince actually got the Prime Minister of Lebanon uh, a kidnap. But uh, I would say that it's also uh, about the fact that uh, Turkey has also made it uh, the whole, uh, I would say, Khash uh, Khashoggi's affair uh, as a deal to uh, ensure that uh, the Saudi leadership, which they enjoy in uh, West Asia, uh, does not remain as neutral as it was. You know, you find Saudi Arabia praising Qatar now. It, well, exactly. The, again, another another terrible policy decision by the Prince MBS that uh, that 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 illegal uh, uh, blockade of Qatar, which was unfair. And uh, it was the same Crown Prince who called Turkey, Iran, and the Ikhwan, the political group, as the three Satans of the Middle East. So, which was uh, 
he started this, in other words. So uh, he started the division, he's doing things on his own, and he's gathering his own allies. And I think politically, Turkey looks at the situation and says, well, if someone is going to play high-level politics in the Middle East, they should be a little more uh, legitimate and they should avoid murdering their opponents. But isn't it uh, also ironical that, uh, you know, when it comes to journalism, Turkey, it has its own record which is contested internationally. And the whole issue of journalism through this affair is at the center of table. Uh, well, Turkey at least tries the reporters and uh, the due, due process works on, yes, there, there's criticism, mistakes were made, that's true. But uh, at the end of the day, even the European Parliament says, well, yes, Turkey is trying, but uh, there are other domestic political issues, like uh, Turkey had gone through a terrible coup attempt in uh, in, in uh, July 15, uh, 2016, uh, 2016, and uh, the coup coup attempts, remnants, and other uh, other things that had to be de de dealt with are should be kept separate. That's domestic Turkish politics. Uh, this is international politics. Uh, Turkey is trying its best domestically, so uh, but this is an international issue. Now, before I let go of you, but the fact of the matter is that the Saudis actually chose to uh, kill, murder a journalist in Turkey. A lot of people would say that it's also undermining Turkey in a way. They could have chosen to do it anywhere in the world. Sure, that, that was, uh, again, there's no... There's no way to explain evil. I mean, we cannot get into the logic of that, why they did it. It's best for them to explain why they did it. Why they did it in Turkey. That That's also uh, a sad situation. Turkey doesn't want to host uh, such terrible crimes. It's not, it's not good for anyone. And diplomatic immunity should not be used for such murderous operations. Uh, I mean, Saudis are or have or Saudis had uh, breached too many protocols and too many uh, articles of law in this case. So you, you're basically saying that uh, this was an occasion uh, where the lines have been drawn by Turkey? It, the lines were already there. You don't murder anyone is the first line. Second one, you don't murder political opponents for political reasons. The third line is you don't commit crimes in your diplomatic missions abroad. You see, the reason why I'm stressing, uh, stressing this point is, you know, uh, someone's terrorist is someone's freedom fighter and someone's freedom fighter is someone's terrorist. Yeah. But if you look at the geopolitical history of West Asia, Israel, Lebanon, Syria, America, they have all organized hits, either in the name of the rendition, the drone program and terrorism. Absolutely. It's... So what the Saudis have done is not new, not out of the book. It's the Israelis have been doing it from 1960s onwards. At, okay, two points. Not in Turkey. Uh, and the second thing, maybe it's time for all those terrible crimes to stop once and for all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for making uh, time for us. So uh, a very pertinent uh, point made that uh, this is not only about one uh, killing. It is also about the way uh, relationship between uh, two very important Islamic powers, Turkey and uh, Saudi Arabia, is unfolding in the world. With camera person Sanjay Rohila, Kartike Sharma from Istanbul for Beyond. Now, Turkey is focusing on a well in the garden of Saudi Arabia's consulate as part of its investigation into the killing of Saudi officials of writer Jamal Khashoggi, whose body is still missing. There were conflicting reports about whether investigators had searched the well in a case that has geopolitical implications because of the Saudi-Turkish rivalry in the Mideast region as well as the US alliance with both countries. Yeni Safak, a pro-government Turkish newspaper, says investigators emptied the well and are waiting for the results of an analysis of the water to determine where the body parts were dumped there. But Sabah, another pro-government newspaper, says Saudi Arabia is yet to give Turkish authorities permission for a search.